everybody? It's 313 JMO, man. <clears throat> we talking about some March Madness today. Having some uh, basketball for y'all today on this, this early morning before I get out and handle my business, man. Alright, so it's March Madness. Um, Actually, this year it came out of nowhere a little bit for me. I was like, oh, yeah, it is today. And you know we 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 all on watching the games, some some competitive games, you know some some blowouts. Uh, I don't really know the Cinderella story yet. It, it was a seven seed that beat Seton Hall yesterday, and I've never seen that team in a tournament before. So they might be the Cinderella story. But you know, uh, around this time, I'm not really doing brackets. I've actually never done a bracket before. And if you know me, you know I've been a huge fan of college basketball for decades. So I've never I've never done a bracket before. I really don't care about none of that. And one thing about the bracket, somebody always gets upset. There's no way to predict this stuff. I don't even entertain that because, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of a waste of time. You know, I know people do it for fun and entertainment. You know, that's what you do. That's what you want to do. That's cool with me. Uh, for me, it's the same thing as fantasy football. I don't know fantasy football because to me it's pointless. So, that's just me. But regardless of that, March Madness is here. And today, you know, today and tomorrow, we really about to see stuff because the round of 32. Now, the round of 32 for a lot of the top-seeded teams, actually, it's kind of, believe it or not, sometimes the round of 32 is really the hardest round you go through. I think last year in the round of 32, that's when we hit that game-winning shot. So the round of 32 is serious. And, you know, I'm only really worried about Michigan. I'll, I'll pay, of course, I'm going to pay attention to what Michigan State is doing. Michigan State, by the way, I think they're in trouble. I think they're in danger of getting knocked off. And, you know, it's not no hate or nothing. Yeah, they beat us three times this year. We beat them three times last year. So it is what it is. They had, And they always have more talent. So the fact that we whoop y'all ass in the first place should show how pitiful y'all are. But Michigan State definitely got us this year. But I don't know why. They can't beat nobody else. They struggle with all these weak teams. Somebody going to push them to the edge and knock them off. Like sooner than I thought. I thought they was, you know, I thought they would might, might go far this year. But after seeing how they struggled in that first game, I'm like, I don't, I don't know about this. Meanwhile, we we blowing them, and this was against a team that ain't never been to the tournament before, or they ain't been to the tournament in a long time. Excuse me, man. I got sinuses, man. The weather keep changing and messed up my sinuses, man. Um, Michigan, on the other hand, we handled business. We blew up Montana. I knew we was gonna do that. Now, uh, Florida, Florida's gonna be tough. Florida plays good defense. They hard nose, but I do think we will be Florida because if I remember, correct me if I'm wrong, well, Florida has that really, really short point guard. And, you know, you put Xavier Simpson on Xavier Simpson on clap them. They the same height. Thing about us is our weakness really is the bench. And, you know, if you have a star, star point guard that can get to the rim like Cassius Winston was doing at will, you're going to, you're going to beat us. And, I don't think that point guard is going to be able to cook Xavier Simpson. I think he'll be able to uh, D him up and we'll win. It'll be a competitive game, though. We blow out Florida. Uh-oh. Here we come. Because you already know, man, when tournament time comes, shit get real for us. Tournament time come, things get very real. We, we very prepared. We ready to go. We out here, man. So... That's why I'm ready, man. Tournament time. Michigan, man, we heat up. It's tournament time. Um, just want to say a little bit about the Pistons. Uh, we, we've been a little bit up and down the last two weeks. I'm still concerned about Blake Griffin being hurt. He had 17 points last night in the 30 minutes. I just don't know what's wrong with him right now. It's very concerning, and we know that Blake has gotten injured in the playoffs, but... The way the way it's going now, I definitely think he's not going to get injured in the playoffs. But if we going to try to do anything, if we going to try to do anything, we need Blake at his superstar potential level. We don't need this guy that seems like he's going through the motions right now. 
Good thing about the playoffs is the games are days apart, so I think he'll be good right now. If it starts today, we'll be facing Philly. Honestly, the only team that like scares me is the Bucks. So I don't think we gonna we we definitely not gonna end up in the AC. But only team that scares me is the Bucks. Um, Philly, they're they're not a good matchup for us at all. Um, they probably would beat us, but you know, five six games. But I just want to say we gotta remember something about Blake. And CP3. When they don't get hurt. Now CP3 had that horrible turnover. But. Well we just going to focus on Blake. When he's not hurt. He actually plays great in the playoffs. And like that's what I'm saying. Like. We're in the playoffs. With somebody like Blake. Who has all of this experience. There's other people on the team that have experience. You know. It's not. It's like. It's not the same team that got destroyed by the Cavs. Like. And Philly is good. And Bede is good. You know, they got Jimmy Buckets, they got Tobias Harris, they got Ben Simmons. So they, they probably could add this out and win, but you know, you never know. I got I gotta I gotta see how them first two games go. Them first two games is blowouts. We're probably squeak by one game and that's it. Ain't no way we getting swept. Not that's not happening. Uh but I'm not scared of them at all. I think we have a better coach. We we let's just see let's just see what happens, man. Dwayne Casey he only loses to the Cavs. Like, LeBron is literally the only person to ever beat Dwayne Casey in the playoffs since he's been head coach. Well, I think he's beat every like every other team. So, LeBron not there no more. So, we we, we going to see. Much rather go up against the Raptors because it seems like we got something over the Raptors, whether it's psychological. For, for all we know, the Raptors turn it up on us in the playoffs and sweep us. But I don't know. We got something over them. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I just don't I, – I hate when Pistons lose games and then Pistons fans go into panic mode and then y'all come come in my comments talking all this dumb shit. Like, I don't want to hear y'all y'all idiocy, y'all, oh, the sky is falling, we not going to make the playoffs, the team is going to be gar- – like, what? Think for one second, bro. Teams lose games. <laughs> it's the NBA. Teams lose games. We are a playoff team. Tell that to everybody. We're going to be the 6th or 7th seed. End of the day. Book it. Like, I don't know how many times I had to tell y'all this stuff. Uh, about uh, Luke Kennard. Luke, my boy. You know, this is why I know a lot of y'all don't know nothing about basketball. Like, if you if you want to argue with me, you be better off football. Because I told y'all, basketball is my favorite sport. It's what I'm most well-versed in. I'm well versed in football too, but not on the level. I don't know the game of football like I know the game of basketball. Don't don't come at me with this stupid stuff, man. Uh, Luke Kennard, he was struggling. Why was he struggling? Because pay attention to the game. The defense was defending him differently. Now when Luke Kennard gets to the three point line, they hugging up, and he's getting double teamed. They leaving Bruce Brown and Ish Smith open, leaving Andre Drummond wide open so they can double Luke Kennard. And, like, the defenses have, very, have really, really switched. It was one game that, that was on Luke. He was just playing bad. But them other games, just watch the defense. Just just watch the defense, what, what they doing. And why, why Luke Kennard the only one that people want to hate on about defense, too? And I'm not going on a Luke Kennard the defense tour, but I see Ellerton, Glenn Robinson, Galloway get cooked on defense. Don't nobody say nothing. But when it's Luke Kennard, y'all be trying to magnify it. Come on, fam. You know, last game, I didn't watch the game, but I'm going to assume Phoenix with their bad defense working guard Luke Kennard and he started raining on their ass just like like he does. But uh, he, he Luke Kennard has some respect now, man. Like, these teams, they like, I, I, I watch defensive game. Like, the defensive game plan is centered around stopping Luke Kennard because if you – Think about our team. Luke Kennard is the most dangerous weapon, not player or anything like just a dangerous weapon on our team. He's a bona fide sniper. So shooting 39% from three, like he's a pure shooter. And the words I had Davis, he's a shooter shooter. But y'all, I'm out of here, y'all. March Madness is here. You know, Pistons, man, we, we still we still fighting our way, man. It's 313 J-Mo, man. Let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, man. I'm out.